The governor saying today that he had conversations with hospital administrators, warning them that if they don't curtail elective surgeries, the state will make them. This is, we learned today, there were just two ICU beds available in the Jackson area. The governor says the, he talked with hospital administrators today about the staggering number of COVID-19 cases now being reported and the likelihood that a percentage of them will need hospital beds in the next two weeks. The criteria for mask mandates has been 200 or more cases throughout the area. Hines County alone during one of those two weeks periods had more than 800. Over 1,500 cases today. That's after having over 1,500 cases yesterday. What does that mean? The spread of the virus is bad. 2,413 cases between the ages of 11 and 17. We have 990 between the ages of 6 and 10. We have 850 between the ages of 1 and 5. And we have 356 confirmed cases in children less than one year of age. Again, the concern, the ICU beds, 274 in the area, only two available today. That has been a moving target, if you will. The governor also said that since schools are approaching, they're having constant conversations about what to do on a host of things, including fall sports. Also, possible new rules that could come into play for bars and restaurants if they are announced at the end of the week. Live in Jackson, Scott Simmons, 16 WAPT News.